Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Hives. Today we are talking about one of the most useful Python libraries that will instantly improve your workflow, that is TQDM. TQDM means progress in Arabic, that is Takadum. In Spanish, it also means I love you so much and trust me, after using it, you will love it too. So first we will understand the problem without TQDM, that means why we need this TQDM. So imagine you have a Python script that processes thousands of files or downloads multiple images. So without a progress bar, it looks something like this. For i in a range of, I am writing here 10,000 and I will write something like this time dot uh, sleep. Uh, 0 0.001 okay so before that i need to import this time so here import uh, time now we will uh, run this so here the issue is we have no idea how long it will take and we don't know if it is stuck or uh, running properly so the user experience is terrible right so we can fix this issue with this TQDM library. So TQDM is a super fast library that instantly adds a progress bar to any loop. So before that, we need to just install this TQDM using this pip command like this. pip install TQDM. Okay. Here the real requirement is already satisfied. Now we will uh, try to make a progress bar in this code. Okay. We need to first import uh, this TQDM. From TQDM import TQDM. Okay. Then we can change the code something like this. TQDM of. Now I will run this code. You can see we are getting this so here a smart progress bar appears in the terminal it updates in real time and shows estimated time remaining okay so the loop looks professional and user friendly right we have a shortcut instead of using uh, like this for i in tqdm of range like this we can also use t range that also i will show here this line command and i will write for i in we can use t range okay t range of then the value here also we need to change like t range okay now we will uh, run this code you can see So that's it for today's video. We learned what is TQDM. It instantly adds progress bars to loops. It works in Python, uh, command lines and Jupyter Notebook as well. It is super lightweight, almost no performance overhead. And it helps track progress for long running tasks like downloads, uh, file processing or API calls.